The Quantum of Solace, A Prayer of St. G. Through two doors appear all that is. Physicists tell us that there is ambiguity between existence and non-existence. In 200 years of experimentation, the idea remains elusive. The double slit or two-door barrier has sent intrigue into the likes of Newton, Einstein, and Bohr to dozens of others of thought experimentation, including Schrodinger, Maxwell, Planck, and Heisenberg. Once determined that the tiniest particle may act also as a wave, they began to erase the information before, during, and after a substance enters the doors, chasing the elusive landing place. It is as though a baseball is thrown and predicted to land in any of five mitts. Say it is not real. Thus we see no trajectory. Until it becomes real, it can appear in any of the five mitts. All possibilities are indulged, yet we can make only probabilistic question statements regarding what will happen. Included is the question that at the very smallest scale of nature is there reality. There is and there is not. As we, Lord, fumble through these concepts of reality, none suggesting they have no value, we begin to see how mysterious is all that you have made. We consider the power that exists in the universe and conclude that in the invisible world of the spirit is infinitely greater power. No brilliant mind will ever grasp the threshold from existence to non-existence. We know that you are, as you say, I am, a statement of existence. If we were content to ponder only this, we would yet have to deal with the proposition that you always were, are, and always will be. All we can know of this and of the many truths about you have come to us by direct revelation. There is no experiment of action or of thought which proves these things. They are unsolvable mysteries. Yet we have much knowledge of you, not from our hands or in our minds, but that our spirit is visited personally by your spirit. Further, that all that in the history of the world come and to come, you outline the great mystery that in the fullness of times you might gather together all things in Christ your Son, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him who is the Lord. So that both doors lead to reality, yet it is invisible. On earth we have found that something happening in one place has an effect on everything in the universe. Physicists somewhat agree to this butterfly effect, adding that it cannot influence something happening elsewhere any faster than the speed of light. We tend to place limits on reality until our minds are free of their limitations. More importantly, as true reality is in the realm of the spirit and not of the material world, the only language we need is that of listening to the Holy Spirit. Yes, many things have been placed in creation and in history for our benefit. Caesar at the Rubicon claimed the die is cast, or earlier from the Greeks, let the die be cast. This an irreverent, irreverent admission that you, Lord of all, govern and determine all things. If in passing through two doors, reality is recombined by the superposition of two waves or negated by their interference, we yet have not inquired of the spirit, what do these things mean? We will never have solace in quantum physics. All the true knowledge and peace reside in the Lord the maker of a real heaven, a real earth. Amen.